So, hi everyone, and thank you so much for uh, coming uh, to this uh, meetup. Uh, as Bill said, my name is Uri. I am product manager working for uh, CA Technologies. And uh, we work very closely with the Sauce Labs team. Uh, and today we're going to show you some of the stuff uh, that we're doing uh, together. Um, before we start talking about uh, continuous delivery, continuous testing, and then we're going to do some interactive uh, exercise uh, with you guys, uh, I want to start uh, with a quick uh, introduction of myself because it really leans into the whole continuous delivery uh, story. So my, my uh, journey with DevOps started about uh, nine years ago. In uh, 2008, I was a developer uh, in uh, Mercury in Israel. Uh, which was uh, then acquired by HP. Later on, as we know, HP uh, divided to HP Inc., HP uh, E, later on acquired by Microfocus and etc. But when I was there, it was still Mercury and then HP. So I was uh, in, uh, in the R&D team. And in 2008, uh, my former uh, manager in Israel uh, invited me uh, to join his uh, newly created uh, startup called uh, Nolio. Uh, which was focused on uh, automating uh, the deployments. So what we basically did uh, back then was focusing on the deployment, especially on the multi-tiered uh, traditional applications, right? So way before uh, microservices-based architectures and serverless uh, design were so common, people designed their applications in a more uh, monolithic uh, way, right? You had the application server and web server and database, and doing deployments against those machines was a very complex process. Uh, much more difficult than just uh, deploying a Docker image uh, today. And we were able to actually uh, automate that process, reduce the L's of deployment, and we were quite successful. About five years ago, we were acquired by, uh, by CA. And obviously, uh, since most of the business critical applications today are still architect that way, there is still a lot of room for solutions like that. Um, however, as we move forward, we understand that we're all moving away from this traditional design and we're trying to look into uh, a better microservices-based approach using Docker technology and, and et cetera, which really take the friction out of the deployment, right? It's much easier to perform deployments right now. Uh, however, uh, what we see when people start to move into that uh, practice uh, especially when you mix it with continuous uh, delivery uh, process, the, the challenge is moved from the deployment piece all the way to the release cycle. Because what's really happening is that the number of releases increased quite uh, significantly. You now have way more releases than before. Let me give you an example. When I was in Mercury, right, we had about uh, two releases a year. But right now, uh, at least here at, at CA, we have release uh, every month, every sprint, every, every week, every day. And in many cases, especially on the, on the small uh, companies, you don't even count the number of deliveries you have to production. Whenever a change is ready, you get it rolled into the pipeline, you deploy it, you test it, and if we're all good, it goes into the production environment, right? So the number of releases increased in, like, significantly. So that introduced a whole set of challenges that we identified, especially on large teams. For example, you may have different teams releasing in parallel. So you have different releases that sometimes use shared resources. So that means they might step on each other's toes. You want to identify it. Also, sometimes you may have dependencies between those different releases. You want to make sure that one release must go only after the previous one finished uh, completely. You may have maintenance windows you have to enforce um, and, and some other compliance issues that you have, on, especially on large companies. Uh, another problem that you have is around visibility. Uh, one of the things... Oh, OK. Um, uh, back in the day, right, when you had a large release, uh, you knew exactly what was the content, right? It was predefined before you actually started uh, the development process. Right now, instead of having this large release with tons of features, you have much smaller deliveries with a small set of features. So it's very difficult to understand whenever you're trying to deliver uh, something to production, especially if you are a release engineer, where you have different teams working and delivering in parallel, what is exactly the, the business initiative that stands behind um, a different release. 
So for that purpose, we basically uh, identified uh, the need of you know, moving away from automating the, the deployment, the actual bits and bytes, uh, to deploy things into WebSphere and WebLogic and et cetera, and manage the whole process of the releases. Uh, to help teams to really move away from large releases and to embrace continuous delivery uh, practices. Um, as part of continuous delivery, obviously, uh, something that people are looking into is the practice and the idea of continuous testing. Um, I think a lot of people uh, confuse continuous testing with test automation, right? Test automation is very important, and many people automate tests uh, for a couple of decades, actually. But continuous testing is more than that. Continuous testing is not just test your, your changes, but test it in a smart way, which means you test it based on the risk. So if you have tons of test cases that cover your code, you want to make sure that you start your test cycle by testing the new cases, sorry, the new changes, the things that you just wrote and you have deployed. And regression tests can come up later. Also, if you have a specific piece of your, in your application that is more uh, clunky, that sometimes fails, sometimes don't, you want to give the test cycle for that area higher priority. So you know that this specific area has, is being tested uh, earlier, right? The whole idea of uh, shifting left is to make sure that you find the issues uh, as early as possible in the, in the release cycle. So we basically, what we did, uh, we introduced a, a product called a Continuous Delivery Directal that come to solve the challenges that I've explained, managing the ongoing number of releases and helping people to embrace continuous delivery and continuous testing uh, practices. Um, as part of that uh, practice, obviously, uh, one of the things you want to do is to have the ability to test uh, against any type of uh, technology that you may have and leverage any technology that you use. So for example, if you're using uh, SaaS Labs for your UI uh, testing, then that's definitely something that we help you to do. And we help you to test throughout every phase of the release, including, of course, the production um, deployment. Uh, this is something that obviously a couple of years ago was uh, not something that any company or most of the companies didn't even consider. But now when we're talking to the people that use our products, we understand that testing is production is critical to understand that what you have written basically work in real life and give value to your uh, customers. With that, let's uh, have a little uh, exercise. Let me just unplug my... Now lock it. Okay, so let's do this small exercise. Okay, uh, what we did here is we put together a small raffle. And uh, we're actually, I have here one, two, three uh, Amazon certificate cards. The only thing that you guys need to do is to go into uh, wincdbu.io Submit your name and pray. So, so let's just uh, do that. That should be fairly, sim uh, fairly simple, right? You should, have, you should see something like this on your uh, mobile. Just go ahead and try. And after, uh, we will see a couple of entries here. We will push the, the button and hope for the best. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's win. W-I-N dot C-D-B-U dot I-O. Okay, let's wait. For now, we don't see anyone. Uh, when you need to go to win.cdbu.io, and what you should see on your screen is this, right? You need to give, put your name and click I'm in. And it should tell you good luck, finger crossed, etc. <laughs> what do you mean? Feature is not ready. <laughs> okay, let me, let me try it here. All right, this is me. The feature is not ready yet. Oh my God, okay? 
that basically mean, right, I, I, I screwed up, right? It means that I introduced product that is not working yet, right? Uh, this is a very extreme use case. Hopefully, hopefully none of you have experienced that uh, in the past, right? But sometimes we think something is working and it's not, right? So let's see how we can fix this uh, together, OK? So let's go. Uh, to the website, right? If you go to cdirector.io, you can start your own free trial using Google or uh, GitHub. And just by chance, I created here a release that one of the things that it is doing is deploying this specific change. Okay? So here on the left, you can basically the you can see the requirements, that the features and the, and, and, and the stories and all that stuff that are being deployed in this specific uh, release, right? We can integrate with uh, Agile Central or Jira to understand what are the requirements that are being deployed in this specific release. Okay, so you can see here that one of the things that I am deploying, this is an Agile Central or Raleigh integration. Uh, this is like when we enable the, the Raffle uh, demo. Right, so let's start running this specific release. Uh, obviously, right now, uh, I am doing it in a manual way, but obviously, we can run the release in an automated uh, fashion, right? We can connect it to Jenkins. We connect it to a change management system, to um, upon a commit in GitHub. It doesn't really matter. Whatever compelling events that you guys have will kick off uh, the release. This specific uh, application is running on Amazon, on uh, our Elastic uh, Beanstalk. Uh, environment. Uh, we are starting by uh, running some API functional uh, testing. So I started by just running the, the deployment, again using uh, the Amazon APIs. And now I am uh, running the API testing. As soon as it finishes, I will send a notification uh, through my uh, Slack channel to notify the team that uh, you know we finished the, the dev piece or the API piece. And we can then promote it to the next uh, phases. As we move forward, uh, you will see that uh, we will use uh, several uh, technologies. Uh, we will use Sauce Labs to do the, the UI testing. We will use BlazeMeter to do the performance testing, testing. And we will use Veracode to do security testing. Um, it is important to understand I have just selected a couple of products to show here on the demo. But we are totally agnostic to the technologies that you guys uh, can use, right? We use uh, the webhook uh, approach, uh, which means you can deploy uh, plugins and connectors and host them wherever you want. And as long as you meet uh, our JSON contract, you can basically uh, work with us. And a lot of our uh, users and our community have contributed to some of the, the plugins that we have um, available. So uh, the API testing is taking a little bit longer than I want, but I think, uh, I think we're good. Uh, we're leveraging uh, BlazeMeter uh, Tauros. I don't know if you know about it. This is an open source um, project that is being uh, managed by uh, the BlazeMeter team, which help you to do some continuous uh, testing initiatives using uh, JMeter and other uh, open source uh, solutions. So as soon as this one uh, finish, uh, we will promote to the next uh, phase, and we should be uh, all set. Okay, it's just about to finalize. I don't know if you can see all the statuses uh, that we see here. And we can also see here the build number that I am currently uh, deploying. Right now, it's uh, build uh, 277. So we just got uh, a notification uh, through, my, uh, checks, through, my, through my Slack channel. Right? We are promoting uh, the change into the, the GUI um, phase. Uh, here, uh, in this uh, specific scenario, it's a different environment. So we are uh, redeploying uh, the change, the, the new build, uh, into my Amazon environment. And we have just uh, started uh, to run uh, our UI test uh, using uh, our friends here uh, in Sauce Labs. Um, I can actually uh, go into my Sauce Lab environment. There you go, running as we speak. Okay, as soon as we finish, we can actually show you what, what we have uh, executed. Uh, this is my Blaze Meter environment. Let's just wait, there you go. We just finished the UI testing and we are promoting into the performance testing where we are using uh, Blaze Meter, right? Um, let's, we can see, oh, this should work. 
Okay, so we just uh, imitated like a Safari thing. You can see shortly uh, what we basically did. We have submitted the name and we should be uh, good to go. Okay, let's be here. What basically is happening now is that we are running uh, the performance testing, as I said, using a blaze meter. As soon as this finish, we will promote to the security testing. Here, uh, we're not going to do a full uh, penetration test simply because it takes quite a while to complete that. If you don't want to do penetration test and dynamic testing, this is something that a lot of the people uh, that we work with uh, do quite often. But uh, we only have like one hour here and I don't want to spend all the time on running penetration test. So in this specific case, it's just a manual step, which I will um, approve so we can move uh, forward. Before we go into uh, the production environment, one of the things that we have here is uh, some kind of notion of an approval gate. Uh, again, in some organizations, not everyone can go into the production environment and perform uh, the deployment, right? You need someone that have the authority, I would say, to do that, right? So in this case, I did something very simple, just a manual uh, approval. We will see that uh, shortly. Um, but as soon as the approval will be granted, we will keep the deployment, complete the deployment, and hopefully the, the raffle uh, application uh, will be working for us. We're just about uh, to complete the, the blaze meter um, execution. And we should be good to go. There you go, awesome. So we completed the performance, we moved into the security testing, Shouldn't be that difficult, hopefully. Awesome, so this is just a manual test. Let's just get it done. All right, we finished all the pre-production uh, deployment and here you can see I have this little guy I need to approve and execute manually the uh, production uh, deployment. Hopefully, we should be good. Um, again, one of the things uh, we can see here is the actual build. And if everything is working as expected, and it should, uh, you will be able to see the build number that we have deployed on the, on the Raffle app. Awesome. All right, I think we're good to go. So why don't you guys uh, try again? And, and let's see if it works. OK, we have one entry. So it's probably better than it was before. Nine. Twelve, OK. Hmm. OK, I only have three. Twenty, OK. 22, anyone? 26, okay, 28, okay, I'm waiting like for five seconds when no new, new entry, 31, okay, we're all set, all right, so let's just hope for the best, and we have Three winners. We have Don, Kieran, that's, <laughs> you are a CA employee, right? Uh, <laughs> that's fine, we'll just run another one and, nah, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, so we have uh, Don and John. Can you guys come over? Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Let's just run this again. And the guy in the middle will be the, the third winner. If I give it to you, people will say, you know, it was, all right, who? Prasanna Pilaka. Who is it? Congratulations. Say again? This is going to be real, yes. The, 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 the Amazon cards are real, that's for sure. 
Um, good, so, so that's about it, right? Uh, obviously, the product and the stuff we're doing with Sauce Labs, uh, I just showed you maybe 5% of what we're doing. We're doing much more than that. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're doing and what uh, continuous testing is, uh, is for us. Um, so thank you very much. Do you guys have any, any questions, any feedback, any comments? All right. Enjoy the rest of the, the, rest of the evening. And thank you very much, guys. Thank you.